everyone, welcome back. So this time we're going to be drawing another problem where we calculate the moment of a force using the cross product. So in this case we have a force of 30 newtons. Let me put my little pin on. There we go. 30 newtons. And it acts on this bracket, which is a very strangely shaped bracket, but don't let it freak you out because we just need the position vector, not that crazily shaped bracket. Um, and it gives us three angles, gamma, beta, and alpha which is all pretty wonderful because that means we can use our direction cosines which helps out a lot to solve this problem. So let's try it out. So how are you going to do it? Well first off you probably need to find the unit vector for the a-axis and you need to find your position vector. Second you need to find the force F in Cartesian vector form. And third you need to take that cross product, a triple product to do this. Okay, so you think you can do it? Well, go try. So we're going to pause here and in three seconds I want you to have paused and go on and do the problem yourself. Then come back. So three, two, one. Okay, by this point hopefully you've gone and done it. So let's try it out. The process is going to be fairly similar to our earlier example. We need to find our unit vector, which in this case is parallel to our y-axis, so it is just in the j direction. And then our position vector. Well, lucky for us, it doesn't go in the j direction at all, um, and so it is automatically going to be perpendicular to this, which makes it very simple if we just stay in this plane. And so we have two steps here. We have two steps in the z direction and one step in the x direction. So we're going to have negative 0.1i and 0.15k. And you're like, wait a second, um, it went down twice. And it went back, and went, why is this, what, what's, what's the sign? Um, the issue is that we start from the axis and head to the point where our force is. So even though I said down to trick you, it's meant to go up. So we start from here and go up twice and go in the negative x direction once. And then we use our direction cosines, which are 60, 60, and 45 based on the problem statement to calculate the unit vector for the force and multiply that by its magnitude to get our force vector. So this is the first thing. We have everything we need now for the triple scalar product. And so we put it in there. We have our unit vector right here. As you can see, since we only have it in one direction, well then, we don't have to do the cross product for the i or for the k components, only for the j. So everything else doesn't matter, we just do this one, a, d minus b, c. However, be very careful that you do not forget that negative sign, because the j does it in the wrong order. Remember, i cross k is equal to negative j. It doesn't go in the right order. And that gives us, after multiplying it all out and plugging our calculators, 4.37 newton meters, and that should be counterclockwise around it. Okay, so hope this helps you, and next time we're going to be jumping into some more fun stuff. So I'll see all of you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.